three, two, one, release, release, release. Ignition. Good control. Trimming, that's turning, pulling the nose up. And trim is set. We're now traveling at approximately Mach 1.4. There's max Q, that's the maximum dynamic pressure on the vehicle. Those on board are experiencing about three Gs at the moment. The trim is complete and Unity is in the vertical headed toward space. Mach 2, Mach 2.8, rocket motor cutoff. Amazing. All right. Predicted apogee today is 275,000 feet, that's 84.3 kilometers. Incredible. Our mission specialists have been cleared to unstrap and enjoy the zero-G experience. This is amazing. This, what you're seeing is uh, Colonel Villa Day going to the back to tend to the payloads that are mounted on the rack. You can see Landolfi and Leo starting their experiments in their seat and having, it looks like, a great time, <laughs> of course. Yep. The feather is moving, as you can see. We have uh, achieved apogee at 85.1 kilometers, or 279,000 feet. Incredible. The pilots are currently doing the, completing the backfill maneuver, um, orienting the vehicle for reentry. The landing gear is now down and locked. We have three green, that means all gear are down and locked and we're making our final approach to the runway here at Spaceport America. Main gear touchdown. So the pilots will continue to hold the nose gear in the air as we continue to bleed off some energy as we run down the runway and at the designated airspeed, they will lower the nose gear as well. Nose gears down. Now, as our ground speed slows, when we reach a designated ground speed, the pilots will apply the brakes and bring the vehicle to a complete stop. And there's wheel stop. <laughs> 